I think this thing that we avoid oftentimes in thinking, no reason or questioning, which is so fundamental, is what in the world is God all about? And how can we possibly come to know God? And where does Jesus fit into that whole thing? Um, I mean, I think it's very understandable historically why we developed Trinitarian theology the way we did. Uh, I think it's also very logical so after 1500 years of trying to figure out what the Council of Chalcedon meant. Huh? We finally have moved uh, to a somewhat different context, not repudiating Chalcedon, or not repudiating any of the very important theological reflection on it. Hmm? But if there hadn't been this individual human, Jesus, who related in profound and intimate love and immediacy to God as his Abba, and experienced being empowered by that Abba spirit, we would never have had any Trinitarian theology. And what happened historically is we took one small piece of the New Testament tradition, the prologue to John's Gospel, and used it almost exclusively. And we forgot, for practical purposes, the rest of the theologies, plural, which are contained in the New Testament. And we're in the process of going back to those. And to put a simple term on it, to some extent it's referred to as Christology from below. I think the thing is, we have to take what happened in Jesus very seriously, never deny what we don't understand about it, never develop an understanding of God and leave that out of the picture, and admit our incredible ignorance with regard to what God is all about. And I think above all, to honor one basic principle, in our prayer, in our devotion, in our theology, we have to let God be God. And that means it's, going to, it's an incredible mystery. But we really believe that we've been given this remarkable window under that, which is the experience of Jesus, huh? and the experience of all of those huh, to whom Jesus has communicated what, what that's all about. Huh? So I think what I'm saying is that I think we really have to seriously work at the development of a new Trinitarian theology. I think we're in the process of doing that.